Um, I mean, okay, hold on. Did somebody just say The Bachelor? He went with Maddie, and I promise you, they're not going to end up together. They just aren't. Because you could see it as they sat there, they weren't happy, and here's the truest tell ever. His mom was not in support of Maddie. Whoa. So it's just totally not going to work out. Um, now, all of that said, and I said this at the end of class to a couple of you, that whole rant was me trying to be facetious, like like sarcastic about something I do not care at all about. My wife likes to watch it. It's garbage TV. The Bachelor is garbage TV. It is not worth your time. They have shows like that so that you'll watch advertisements because there's tons of commercial breaks. It's how I get my schoolwork done. So my wife is sitting there swiping through like Facebook or Instagram or whatever. It's on, and I'm making fun of it and doing my schoolwork. So I have a bunch of stuff to pass back to you guys today. But Wait. he went with Maddie. It was a bad decision. Broke Hannah Ann's heart. Um, he's not. Peter's just a silly guy, and he needs some help. Um, but when, if, when, if, I guess we'll say. Um, let's actually get to this from Phoenix. So you go to the Phoenix website, and you guys already know this. You're pretty well um, versed at getting to Schoology for your other classes. You go to Schoology. Now, I have been um, implementing CPM for a couple years, not using Schoology, because CPM is more of a face-to-face -face sort of thing, not a blended sort of program. Before CPM, we had a blended program called Did This. It was through Pearson. I don't know if you guys remember it at all. But I did a ton of blended stuff. Um, I'm just speaking facts, not like, this is like no brag, just facts, right? I'm really good at school. I just, you guys don't know that because I haven't used it this year. So no worries. If we end up on Schoology, you would come to courses and you have your math class right here. And some of you were freaking out yesterday saying, but wait, we've never joined your math class. Yes, you have. You're all in here because the district adds all of you into my class and this class shows up for you. So if you are taking my Math 7 class according to the district, you're in here. I would probably change the settings here so that you would land on the updates page. Um, and again, we're speaking like if COVID-19 makes us cancel school, which I'm guessing it probably will. Um, I mean, if you want to know why, come to a game club and play the game Pandemic with us. It's essentially the game form of what's going on right now. The only way to beat a pandemic is to get ahead of it. We can't be reactive. We have to be proactive. And that's why I'm guessing they're going to eventually just say, hey, take a week or two off school. And probably even like leading into spring break to use that as another week off school just to keep us from being close to each other. Just for a couple weeks until we see like how bad the outbreak actually is. But I would change my settings. I can come in here and change the settings that you would land on the updates page. You would read the updates page, and then I could almost guarantee it would direct you to go to the materials page. In the past, when I've done courses on here, I've literally had every chapter with folders. Every chapter, um, once you go inside that folder, has folders for the individual lesson. It was crazy. It was nuts. I did a lot of blended stuff, and then I, I kind of burned out on it, and I stopped doing so much. Back channel chat is one of those things that they were talking about, but also Big Blue Button. Um, oh, sorry. They renamed it to Conferences. Um, what Mr. Kabilo and people were talking about yesterday with, we might say at 10 o'clock, we'll have a, a connections conversation that we can do really easy through this conferences part of Schoology, where I just literally create a new conference, give it the info, and you would come on here and just click join. There'd be a button that would say join conference, and you could turn your webcam on or off. You can turn your mic on or off. So if you just want to be part of it, you turn your mic off, you turn your camera off, and you just like listen. So you want to talk, and you turn your mic on, and you say like, hey, I have something to contribute. Um, that those are all things that might happen, but mainly my stuff would live in materials. Um, if you have a printer at home, I would try to make the worksheets available that you could print them. But if not, just do it on graph paper, right? We talked at the beginning of the year, you can fold your graph paper in half, like hot dog style, make two columns and just write out the work on graph paper. You'll survive. You have the ebook. So if you have internet access, you're all good. If you don't have internet access, you need to let us know so we can get you a loaner laptop. So, uh, Eric. Um, just a question on the yeah. paper. Did I mess it up? On 140 what? There was only one? What? Well, I suck. 
So if we're going from 12 feet to a corresponding 3 feet, let's all go ahead and answer this one together while we're thinking about it. Divided by 4, Divided by four right? So a scale factor of 1 4 or 0.25 if you want. Or 1 semicolon 4. Or is it colon? No, it's colon. Colon is the two dots, right? Yeah. And then semi is that thing. Semicolon is the one that has like the, the dot and then like the. Have you guys. Yeah. I doubt it's really popular with people your age because getting tattoos <laughs> is not like, you know, allowed for you. Um, but it's now like a cultural thing to get a tattoo of a semicolon yeah. because. Well, yes, but it also is like it's a new chapter. It's a next. Like, it's a pause, right? It's a break in something. So, we turn in homeworks up through 624, I think. Yeah, yeah. Maybe 625 if you decided to. One, two, three, four, five, six of you turn in 625. You are one of them. So. If you have any questions from 625, 26, or 27, and or just want to see the answers, that's what we're doing right now. If you don't have any questions or want to see those answers, you can just work on closure. So in 6.2.5, these are the answers to your practice work. Yes, but I will actually probably switch how I'm doing this to be able to show you more at once. guys make my life so difficult. Zach, Toby, Lydia, Olivia, Meredith, and Mirabelle have turned in 625 already. So in 624's homework, or sorry, not 24, 25, because you should have turned in 24 already. Six two five was from the day that we did the big activity, <clears throat> so I want to be able to show you the problems and yes. Oh, probably not. Whatever. It's probably got COVID. No, that's not nice to say. I should not make jokes about it because literally it is impacting people badly. Uh, but what my head initially thought was like, oh, it's okay. We're gonna like end school soon anyways. I don't think we'll be out the rest of the year, but I do honestly think this will probably mess us up. Um, which for you guys and for us as teachers, your first thought should be like, oh crap. Like not like, yay, time off school. But like, we want to be here to learn, right? I want to be here to teach. This is not good. Like I'm not happy that this might happen, but we just have to go with whatever's best for our like whole, like the greater good, right? It's that idea of like the greater good. I think I'm fine and I can go do what I want. That's not best for everybody. So 104, you get X is 4, X is 19, or X is 5. Any questions on those? Is it in, um, two five. Yes, this is 625. You can also just check the problem number to check if you're on the right one. Then this is critical, and I hope we're pretty good at that, being able to write the algebraic sentences with the symbols and letters compared to the verbal sentences. So three less than a number, that comes after the number that we don't know. Nine more than three times a number, and we were still working with some of these yesterday, and then two less than five times a number. Any questions on either of those? Aurea. Uh, with addition, that's okay. With subtraction, it is not. So you could have 9 plus 3x, that's okay, but you could not have uh, 2 minus 5x, that is wrong. Now if you had negative 2 plus 5x, that's technically right, but that's not the order that they gave it to you in. Whether you 5D process or use algebra for this is up to you, but any of these problems dealing with area like we talked about yesterday, the algebraic process may not work. 
And for any of you just frantically trying to copy down answers, remember that doesn't do you any good when it comes to the mash food. So please think twice if you are one of the people just like trying to copy answers. How many people think you would win? The probabilities in 107, 1 7th, 1 13th, and 0, because it can't happen. No, I can come over and help you with it. Um, yeah, I know. Good catch. Sorry, I'm dealing with the classroom slate now. I'm sorry, I'm trying to do my teacher job. You should have two well, you I don't do, have it. You can't do your teacher job if you can't. Okay, maybe it's bad. No, not really. Not that picky. In case we haven't clarified, these. This medication is a blood pressure medication, and you all being all uppity doesn't help blood pressure. So, when you're really stressed out, it is it increases blood pressure. No, but I'm just telling you, like stress increases blood pressure. Cool. 109. Let's go over it up here then. If you like actually need help, and it's not just like trying to copy the answer. Yes. So we have a question with 109. I'm quickly going to cut that out. 109 is a type of problem that likes to catch people. Um, and we're going to go back to the B problem that we ended on yesterday. Um, but, crap, I didn't mean to do that. To talk about 109 real quick. So this is the image in 109. Right? This is an equation. Whether we realize it or not, this is an equation because it is showing us two equal things. So since this is the same length as this, they're equal. But likewise, I could chop off this region because this is the same length as this. So I know that my top region is actually six and my bottom region is M plus four. So what we're saying is M plus four must equal six. In that case, M has to be two. Oh, seven, my bad, I can't add this morning. Sorry, so that's seven if we add correctly. What's M? Uh, my bad. 109. Yeah, yeah. We're not Okay. So Ray, I want you to do all the work. She's right, though. We could write this all down and get to M plus 7 equal to this. Oh, okay. equals 2m plus 4, we could subtract m from each side, we could subtract 4 from each side, we could do all that. Or if we use the image, we can figure it out just kind of saying, oh, that's the same distance as that. You guess so.
What do you mean to find the entire, like, of the line? You can just add three to the seven, really. Yeah, if you want to do the top, and then if I don't have any in there. Oh my gosh, man. You are going Disney Dunk out all of my hair. At the back is the most recent. Open with the thing. Don't just yank it. No, break my binder. So that's 109, how we get M is three feet. Then the final question asking us how long the whole tightrope is. If M is three feet, we can figure out that it's 10. <clears throat> Down here for 110, if you don't have 110 done, write these answers down right now, but you have to go back and show work to solve. A, you might be able to figure out without doing work. B and C, I highly doubt it. I am really betting that you are going to need to show work to do those problems. So we have 5 and 8 and 16. Sorry, if I let go of it, it falls. So I can't. Well, I guess it stays there. If you did not get that, then you need to check what happened and why you did not get those answers. Now again, if you did not do this homework yet, like this is exactly what you're going to see on the math screen. Like this sort of, this is why we did that station activity. This problem should like exactly remind you of the station activity we did. So the lower falls, they tell us is 320. If you didn't do this problem yet, underline that or highlight that right now. That the lower falls is 335 shorter than the middle. It's X minus 335. This, the middle is what they're calling X. Right? So the middle is what they're calling X. 335 feet shorter than the middle. That's how we get this. The middle, they call X. So whatever, we just leave it as X. And the upper... I'll just be writing this down. The upper is 80 feet more than twice. If you accidentally fell into some bad habits in quarter three, tonight is the night that you have to like grow up and say, oh shoot, I need to get my work done. We are starting the mastery tomorrow. Orchestra people, you will miss that. We will continue it on Friday. You have... Um, well, I know choir people, next week you'll have time to make up the time you miss. Orchestra people, I don't know. Ask Miss McGree and what's up. Okay. So if, if you have that time to make that stuff up, then... Yeah, she said the next day your choir time is, is like AA time. Oh, sweet. But if you don't have homework done, I'm collecting them tomorrow and I'm updating math. The only reason I did not update math with the mini mastery last night is literally... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of you would have had missings go in. For no reason, aside from you forgot to turn in the papers. I can do the inverse. These people are safe. Luz, Maeve, Lily, Isabella, Zach, Lydia, Molly, Meredith, Rhea, Mirabelle. If you did not hear your name, you did not turn in a mini mastery. Eric. Thanks. In my bin, I have Eric and Nikki. And I will check my stuff. Well, I'm about to pass stuff back anyways. But... Oh, there's a no name on the chalkboard. That's also a possibility. There is a no name on the chalkboard. All right, I'll go ahead and give you guys a little bit of time with these answers while I start passing stuff back, I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.
Well, okay. No, because I mean, you have class time today and tonight, so really you should get it done. Like you should be doing it right now. But I mean, really, I need your homework by Friday. Like that's the long and short of it. Especially because people will be gone tomorrow. I just need your homework by Friday. Mm -hmm. Was that yours with the no name? I can't do anything about it if you guys put stuff in no name. I'm not as good as some other teachers that would memorize who's name of the team. I'm not that good. All right, I will flip over to the 526 answers. So remember, this is when we have A, R, N to abbreviate all real numbers when the answer is all numbers. So anytime CPM says all numbers, that's like us saying A, R, N, right? All real numbers because I'm over teaching and I'm teaching you guys now that it's all real numbers, not just all numbers, <coughs> all real numbers. You're welcome. I know that's probably kind of a joke, but I have had students come back and say like, hey, thanks, because when I got to this up, like the next class, I already knew some of the stuff they were teaching us. Oh, that's not sarcastic. That's a real question. Well, I appreciate it. I mean, you have my real So guys, I am genuinely nervous that we're gonna miss school for coronavirus. I'm not nervous about the virus. I think if everyone makes smart decisions, we'll be okay. Um, but like, I'm nervous about the school side of it. Assuming we cancel school for this stuff and the state, because they make oh such great choices, keep testing when it is, we will straight up just lose time. Like Worthington could cancel two weeks and not have to make it up. Because think about it, we had no snow days this year, and we actually have a longer school day than we have to, not only just at Phoenix, but in Worthington. We have a longer school day than we need to. So all of that to say, if there is a skill that you are still rocky on, and honestly, I don't give, I'm trying to think of how to phrase this, I don't care about the state test, really. It does reflect on me, it does impact how I look as a teacher, but I don't care what the man says about me. The man can get over it, whatever. I'm gonna do what I do, right? What I worry about is you guys moving on in your math career, having a gap. If there is something you are still struggling on, please use AO and extensions to come to us, not just math, right? Us, any of your teachers, and just talk with us. It's like, hey, since, since even like August, I've acted like I know how to do this and I don't. I'd like to before we get to the end of the school year, which guys, we're in the final quarter. We have nine weeks left. But if we cancel school for coronavirus, like we have less than that. We have like a month or two of school left. That's it. So please come meet with us. Come fill those gaps. Learn those things that you may not totally get yet. Have that confidence as you move forward. Well, I'm supposed to be in That's fine. Yeah. I'm just pointing it out. It went 122, 127, and 28. Oh, I did that because of spacing. Well, it like, wouldn't fit front back if I didn't do it like that. Yeah, I was like, oh, okay. Yes, there's always a reason I do silly things like that. Or if I just skip a random problem. But when there's a typo or a missing picture, that's just, I just goof. I may actually, especially, actually I'm going to do this regardless. I'm going to start a thread in Schoology of like, what were my typos to try to go back and fix them. Make sure I go back. If, you're, if you're mastered, and if you're bored, and if you remember like when there were typos or you did something like, I will ask your help of like, hey, help me fix these typos, um, whatever. Do we have any questions on 122, 123, 124? As of right now, yes. Stay tuned. Here's the thing, it's okay if it doesn't or doesn't happen now, you all have travel insurance. We didn't make it optional. Every single person going on New York, their trip is insured. So if it like worst case has to be 
canceled, because we would probably try to delay it and put it at a different time. But worst case, everyone gets their money back. Yeah. It's okay. And we would try to then schedule a, another trip for you guys, because we really believe in travel. We would really like sixth grade to be in-state travel, or sixth grade to be like Columbus and our region, seventh grade to be like all over the state, and eighth grade to be out of state travel. Or in a crazy amazing world, seventh grade be in Ohio, or sixth grade be in Ohio, eighth grade be out of Ohio. I keep saying this wrong. Sixth grade be in Ohio, seventh grade be out of Ohio, eighth grade be international. That's what would be sweet. Well, if you choose to go on the international trip. We want it, we want like whole grade, everybody, all of the sixth graders, we go on an Ohio trip. All of the seventh graders, we go to New York or we go to Chicago. Or, it, I know, but that's what we would like. Do you have a show to do? Yeah, I'm going to show. Like, literally, our, our opening night is the night that you guys are like filming for movies or something. Oh, man. All right, 125, 6, and 7. Especially down at the bottom, since some of us struggled on that problem on the last homework. Please check your work on 127. Some of you might be able to like just reason through these things. But guys, again, with combining like terms, when we do that in situations like this, it's literally like you lose it. So here, let me cut this out and show you what I really mean. So you guys have done a ton of these. I'll go back to that. But if you want to look at this as a, an equation that we can combine the like terms, literally, we could bump the 7 over and bump the x over to here and think of it as 2x's and then 7. Makes 13. Same with the j. We could move the j over here, and we really have 3j plus 15 equal to 27. Same thing, well, we don't need to do it in C, because C, the ends are together, and the constants are together. So in C, it's unnecessary. Mm -hmm. Yes? Daniel, if you have 13 numbers, if you want, and you're with God, like, and then God, yep. what? Then we get rid of what we know, and we divide by the, what's the fancy word we call the multiplier? Starts with a C. Starts with a co. Coefficient. Coefficient. Constant cannot have a variable. Okay, remember, constant is constant. There's no variable. Constant is constant. So back to being able to see 126. Oh! 126 is often something that's confusing. So guys, and if you didn't do this yet, just go ahead and copy this. I'll give you permission right now to just copy it. 126 is asking us what number could we take out of both of those? Those are not the only right answers. Oh. Yeah, that's the, ooh, what's this? Okay. Sorry, I minimized my other screen and everything disappeared. Well, because I work on two monitors. You guys know that. Hmm. So, in A, you could have also divided 16 and 4 both by 2. And if you did 2, this would become 2 times 8x minus 2. Factoring is the reverse of distribution. You are literally pulling a number out of both of these through division. So if I divided by 2, the numbers left over are 8x and negative 2. But if we divided by 4 instead, 16x divided by 4 leaves us with 4x. Negative 4 divided by 4 leaves us with negative 1. Both of those are correct. Over here, 5 is really the only option, but they also take the x. So if you didn't take the x, this might just be 5 times negative 2x plus 1x squared. That's okay if that's what you did. But we recognize that we also see x's in both of these, and we can take one of those with us. So if we do, it's 5x pulled out of both. And then 
when you pull the X out, it disappears from the tax because we pulled it out. And then the X squared, you're like, aha, see, there's my alarm that if I hadn't taken it yet. Because over the weekend, I don't, I didn't wake up again. So over the weekend, I didn't wake up again. Well, I've got the alarm. I will never join a group chat with people. Well, what if we just put you in it? What if we just put you in it? I will never, I will remove myself. Why? Yes, you can. <laughs> Look, whatever you guys tell me I can't do, I have friends at Verizon. I can do anything. I'm serious. Why do you think I have a Samsung coffee mug? Because my friend works at Verizon and he was like, here, I don't want this. Actually, okay. True, that was a lie. True story of that. This is 627. This is last night's 134 was the first question there. True story of that is every phone I've bought in the past like five years, I've bought from a friend of mine who works at Verizon, gets the phone, uses it for like, I don't know, six months or a year or something. And then they're like, nah, I want a new phone. Oh. And they work for Verizon, so they get a discount. And then I buy their old phone off of them. Now, I will say the new S20 looks like the camera is pretty epic. So I'm kind of curious, but I have zero money to go buy a new phone, so I'm not going to. If you're gonna start GoFundMe, don't make it a phone. Make it a board game. You can pull the shelf down. No. So when we look, when we look at 134, this goes exactly back to what we did in class. Would Dividing by 9 work for that equation. Who can talk about why or why not? Would dividing by 9 first, Araya? Because the other one is indivisible, which is very nice to divide. Yeah, 71 and 37 both don't really divide by 9 nicely. So while we could, we don't because it's messy. Right? It's some gross, ugly numbers. So we would first start by adding 37 on both sides. And if you didn't do this yet, you're okay to like spend this time working on this. Guys, anytime we're going over homework in class, if you didn't do it, the worst choice is sit and do nothing. Either be thinking in your head, okay, how do I solve that? How do I get to that answer? I'm comfortable. Or if you're not comfortable, ask a question. Or you should be spending this time on working on the assignment. We only have about five minutes of class left. I, I know. Today was pretty much just checking. Uh, 135 then. A couple of those answers work out a little messy. What? I'm just scooching up as far as I can. Again, 136 is one of those problems I like. That's true math. Like that's That's the real difference in gravity. So if anyone wants to argue that we actually haven't been to the moon, I would like to argue how then did they make the footage of the astronauts doing their moonwalk stop? I don't want the actual answer of being in the Adam and Eve Jungle Book or something. Yes, but I forget exactly what happened in the Adam and Eve Jungle Book. I like that though. I love that. I can't remember what the is he arguing that it did happen or no, didn't he's happen? arguing that it did happen. Yeah, because there's like no way like, to sound did, stage like, all that. Well, by like camera effects. What do you mean? It's pointless. We're going to Mars now. The moon has nothing for us. So what we have figured out, what we have figured out is the moon is there. It's great. It's not cheese. There's no actual person on the moon because the man on the moon is useless. There's a face on the moon. We've explored it. Literally, we've driven a rover around the moon, which is nuts to think about, by the way. 
but you really like stop and let yourself think about that ball up in space. Someone's been there and they've driven a car on it. And they've golfed on it. One of the first two things that men want to do when they get somewhere, play golf and drive things, right? So that's what we did when we got to the moon. But there's no water. There's no way to like climatize it. There's no way to exist there long term. Mars has potentiality. There might, like there's been water on Mars. We are currently sending a rover to Mars that actually they did, um, NASA did a voting on the name of the new rover. I, I forget what they ended up on, but like students voted on it. Like you, you all submitted um, ideas, not you necessarily, but people your age, to a crater that we know used to have water. We're gonna explore that area, probably drill into the surface, stuff like that, to figure out, does Mars still hold water? Could it hold water? What could we do to that planet? Because it's not a moon, it's a planet. To potentially have humans there. Could we go live on Mars? Moon, we can't. So we just, we're like, eh, who cares? Yeah. That's like going now? Oh, that's already there. Yeah. I know, they're sending a new one. Oh, yeah, the one on the moon. Sorry, I thought you were talking about the one on Mars. No. Yeah, well, when we take, this is the problem, though. We litter. Space is now full of human litter. Spacecraft parts that are just floating around out there, like the rover on the moon, it still has power, and it's solar-powered. So what Nikki's saying, and it's really funny, is it literally sings happy birthday to itself. It's programmed to, yeah. So if you were on the moon, if you somehow end up there, Look, the people who work at NASA must get bored because they do funny things like that. Um, these, 137, yo, hey friends, up here, 137 scares me because some of you act like, oh, I don't need to do that anymore. I'm so good at those. And then you get them wrong. So you will continue to see practice problems like that to practice those skills of like minus a negative is really plus a positive. Yeah. Adding fractions needs common denominators. Multiplying fractions does not. No. This multiplication, you can really do six times eight and then bring the decimal back in. And again, no common denominators needed. We multiply straight through and straight through. And then 138. And 139 is the checkpoint on converting the algebra sentences to variables and numbers. So then closure is your homework tonight and your homework tomorrow. It needs all chapter six work should be due, should be due, should be turned in on Friday, by Friday. Orchestra people, um, I know some of you who are overachievers will like come to me later and ask me for the test. I will try to scramble frantically. I forgot about orchestra being gone tomorrow. I will try to scramble frantically and finish it before extension. I make no guarantees. Nothing else. You can start it tomorrow, A or extensions, and finish it Friday or Monday or whatever. I think we took a normal golf ball and just hit it really far. Right, see, so it has less gravity, but also your movements are kind of restricted because, like, the spacesuit and everything. So, I mean, if you look, there's a video of like astronauts golfing and like it just like kind of floats. I don't think they like you know put a full swing into it. And I think at one point, if you hit it hard enough, you'll escape the gravity and then it'll just float through space forever. But if it made its way back to Earth, it would just burn up in the atmosphere because it's too small, it would disintegrate. Yeah. So some sort of bad news. Yeah. Some sort of good news is that the, the Sony Matic Universe, the ones with uh, Venom and the Morgan Freeman, are apparently getting their own solo Spider-Man movie. The sort of bad news is that... How many Spider-Man movies do we really need? Not really that many. But the bad news is that the guy writing it is the guy who wrote The Amazing Spider-Man 2, which was very poorly written. But my thing is that if this is supposedly... Wait, the same guy? Yeah, the same guy He's who wrote Amazing Spider-Man 2. Um, and, oh, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2. Amazing. 